All right, we're here with Hope College. First off, congratulations on your game one victory. Moving on to the next round. Coach, we'll start with you. You know, hot start, followed by, you know, the loss in the second set. What was the, what was the message as you went in between each sets? Well, I just want to start off by congratulating Whitworth on an amazing season. Um, that is a, uh, a very talented team, very well coached, and um, they have got a lot of weapons that were difficult to stop um, throughout the match. Um, uh, I think that uh, one of the keys to our success in that match was um, our defensive presence. And uh, it started off with blocking and just kind of, uh, you know, kind of snowballed into defensive uh, effort into the corners and making plays and off speed and, and hard driven balls. So like I, I'm, uh, I loved our block um, throughout most of the match um, and, and our defensive range. And then we started finding some holes um, on, on their side of the, of the court and, and just tried hard to be able to exploit them. But very tough match, a very good team, and I'm just glad to get out of there with a win. <laughs> and to head, coaches, head coach Becky Schmitz writes, is McKenna Otto. McKenna, 65% as a team overall hitting percentage in that first set. Usually you see, see some teams you know, have a slow start when they get into tournaments like this after whether it's the conference tournament or anything. What kept you guys alive going through the buildup through the early parts of this week and then into this afternoon? I think this team just has a lot of fight and a lot of love for each other. So we're going to step out on that court every day like it's our last game. So um, I think just the attitude we had going in was super strong and we we're going to do whatever it took to keep playing. And then to McKenna's right is Anna Grunwald. Anna, well again, congratulations on the win. 15 kills for you um, personally, and two service aces. You know, you had 22 attempts behind the end line. Do you work on that part of your game a lot during practice, or is it something that just comes naturally for you? Um, oh, we work on it. Uh, like, these past few weeks, we've definitely worked on serving a lot as a team, um, working on a lot of different types of serves, like deep, short. So that helped me feel prepared and confident behind the service line. And also, just knowing that I can be aggressive, and if I do miss, like we are a good passing team, I trust my team to come back. So, and we'll switch it back over to you, McKenna. You know, obviously, win the game today, you move on, you stay alive, play again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What does preparation look like for you and your squad as we head into the evening and then early tomorrow morning? I think just well, taking care of ourselves, but also just staying mentally hungry and confident, and coming into tomorrow with just a strong mindset. And then, Coach, anything on the scouting report right away? I know we've, we've seen some of the teams beforehand. Do gears switch right away, or do we dwell back on this win a little bit? Heck no. We do not <laughs> dwell. Um, we uh, are ready to move on. And uh, we have got, I think, a good scouting report on Northwestern St. Paul. Um, we had a chance to watch them uh, this afternoon. They're, again, a really good team, um, a team that has some – some good weapons and plays with a lot of spunk and fire and um, just really looking forward to it. So, And then we'll, f we'll finish on a post-victory favorite meal for tonight oh. and then pre-game meal <laughs> oh tomorrow. McKenna, you're welcome to chime in too. Post, oh, oh I don't um, know where we're going. It depends. <laughs> that is a, you know, an interview new. I've never heard that. I don't know. We like to poke well, a I was going to say Chipotle is <laughs> a good one. It's not a bad way. Yeah. Pre-game. Yeah. Um, I don't. So, oh, uh, if it's in the morning, protein oatmeal oh, yeah. with a banana in it. There you go. Big time. Oatmeal. Oh, no. All right, well, again, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.